Well hello guys, I can't believe that I'm about to say this but today we are in the Maldives and we're on the local island of Marfushi. When you think about the Maldives you're bound to think expensive, ultra luxury, five star resorts. But is it possible to do the Maldives on a budget? People have asked us and we're going to give you the answer to that question. you a bit of background as to what Marfushi Island is all about. So Marfushi is a local island with a population of around 3,000 people. It's located approximately 26 kilometres south of Mali in the Kafu Atoll. It is one of the largest islands in the Maldives. You can walk around the island in about 30 to 40 minutes as it's 1.2 kilometres in length and 0.2 kilometres in width. Marfushi has got two sides to it. You've got your local side and you've got your tourist side. Your local side is where you're going to find things like a mosque, a hospital, a large playing field for children, supermarkets and also the largest prison in the Maldives. Your tourist side is where you're going to find your hotels, your guest houses, your restaurants, lots of souvenir shops and also the famous Bikini Beach and Water Sports Beach. Bikini Beach is self-explanatory. It's the only beach on the island where you can wear your bikini and it'd be absolutely acceptable. Please do not offend the locals by walking around the streets in swimwear. However, it does seem that vest tops and shorts are allowed. This is because you may or may not know that the Maldives is an Islamic country. While we're on that subject, this is a dry island. So if you're wanting a beer, you won't be able to find them in any bars. However, there is an answer to this. There is a boat that's moored just off the coast of Marfushi that you can get a little boat to and from for free and you can go and have a drink on there. We haven't been there yet, but we're thinking about trying it for research purposes. But we'll cover that more later on in the vlog. When visiting the Maldives, one of the biggest costs will be your flights. But if you fly from Asia, you can pick up flights from as little as £150 return. We decided to have a holiday within a holiday and flew from India to Mali, which made visiting the Maldives possible with the affordable airfares. So we arrived in Marfushi yesterday and I must say when we landed at the airport in Mali, first impressions of the Maldives were absolutely incredible. So if you're wondering how to get here, there are two ways. Your cheapest option is by taking the local ferry, although this only does run at certain times. And I believe it costs $2 per person, but you do have to go into Mali to actually get this ferry. The option we took because we just wanted to get here was the speedboat that we booked through ICOM Tours. It took around an hour and it cost $25 per person. When we arrived at the jetty port at Marfushi, there were many hotel representatives waiting to pick up their clients. Ours was there with a push cart, ready for our walk to our hotel. So if you're wondering how much to budget for accommodation here in Marfushi, accommodation seems to start at around 35 US dollars per night for guest houses and budget accommodation and goes all the way up to $130 for a more luxurious stay. We've decided to go middle of the road and are staying at Coretti Beach Inn which has cost 68 US dollars per night and that's inclusive of all taxes and fees. A bonus is it also includes breakfast which is great for us because it's a meal that's not coming out of our daily budget. The downside is it's not got the best view, but if you're willing to pay an extra 20 to $25 to stay in another hotel, you can get a balcony with a sea view. So the currency on Marfushi, like the rest of the Maldives, is the Maldivian Rufia. Now, a lot of the prices are quoted in US dollars as well, so if you do carry dollars, you'll be okay here. If you do need cash out in local currency, there is one bank and one ATM on the island, which is the Bank of Maldives. You'll find this about midway down of the island of Marfushi. So I'm sure 
sure one of the main questions that you're going to want answering is how much is food going to cost in Malfushi? So we've looked at quite a few menus at some of the budget restaurants here on the island and we've found that a lunch will cost you around 90 to 120 rupiah and a main meal will cost about 150 upwards. Most restaurants will also charge a service charge and government tax on top of the prices that are advertised in the menu. We're currently at Hayala Cafe which is one of the few restaurants in Malfushi that doesn't actually add a service charge. Now some restaurants will find charging the local currency and some of them charge in US dollars. If you do want to pay by card, it seems that debit and credit cards are widely accepted as well. For bigger budgets, we can highly recommend the evening buffet at Carney Palm Beach Hotel. It'll set you back $20 per person and it also includes complimentary tea and coffee. For backpackers and those on smaller budgets, supermarkets are well stocked and you can pick up cup noodles for 15 rufia, along with a selection of drinks to keep the cost down. On a night, Marfushi is still fairly sleepy but you will find some bars that have live entertainment on some nights. With no alcohol on the island, you can't have a cocktail but you can enjoy plenty of mocktails along with a variety of fresh fruit juices. On average, drinks will cost anywhere between $3 and $7 depending on where you go and what you order. I honestly cannot believe this. This is the biggest coconut I have had in my life. Look at the size of that. I know I've not got massive hands, but that is huge. So, joke's on John, because actually, to everybody else, that is a normal sized coconut. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. We are ready for our snorkeling tour. So after about a 10 to 15 minute boat riding we've reached our first stop which is the Adult Island. We then headed to our second snorkeling spot and explored the coral garden which was teeming with marine life and species of fish we hadn't even come across before. We then ended the boat trip with a picnic lunch on a sandbank just across from the island of Marfushi. Lunch consisted of a sandwich, a banana and some juice. After lunch we had some free time to relax.
Our half day tour cost $35 per person and we booked it through Carney Palm Beach. It included towels, snorkeling equipment and life jackets. When it comes to booking a tour, there's so many different options to choose from which cater for all budgets. From half day trips to full day trips in locations that are further away. If you're fed up of boat trips though, you can also book a tour to spend a day at one of the all inclusive resorts. Again, there's lots of choice so we highly recommend reading online reviews before booking and we found that prices started from around $115 per person. So one thing that you have to do when you come to the Maldives is make sure you catch one of the incredible sunsets here. The cost of this is free. Right, last thing on the agenda for today, and as we mentioned earlier, we're going to try and figure out how to get to this bar boat for research purposes. A slight hurdle, you just have to uh, tackle a three foot wall first. <laughs> You're going to be alright with that, John. When we arrived at the floating bar, we were really surprised that the drinks prices weren't higher, given that we're in the Maldives. Also, just to mention, this bar is cash only. So what a very different experience to get a drink that was. The boat does go to and from quite often so you don't need to wait that long really for, uh, for a transfer on the way back as well. It is free, you just have to pay $5 if you decide that you don't want to have a drink on board but in fairness for what it is the prices are pretty reasonable I'd say. Ready to leave the Maldives. Well, folks, we're back to where we started four days ago, and what a great trip it's been. Probably our most successful budget trip that we've ever done. Yeah, we have been so surprised at how affordable the Maldives actually is when you're doing it on a budget. So, to get back to the airport today, we didn't decide to get the speedboat at $50. We decided to go for the more budget option and that was the public ferry. The direct ferry to Marley this morning wasn't available so we had to get the public ferry that did a little stop at Gully Island before continuing to Marley. This took around an hour and 45 minutes and it cost 22 rufia per person. So after we got off the boat into Marley we had to get onto another one to go to the airport and that cost 10 rufia per person. We were also lucky enough to get a nice farewell from a stingray and a pod of dolphins. What an incredible incredible end to the Maldives. So we're going to leave it there folks, let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed it and if you're planning on doing a budget trip to the Maldives yourself. Remember to smash that like button down below because it helps us so much and subscribe so you don't miss where we're going next. Join us on the next episode where we'll be heading to Goa, taking you around the popular resort of Candlim as well as a trip to Dudziger Waterfall. Special thanks this week to Kirsty, Davide and Debbie for supporting us by donating via our PayPal link. If you want to get involved and donate too, you can find our PayPal link in the description of this video. It helps support us and the channel.